Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Tuesday, March 10th, 2020. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's college basketball, NBA, and NHL games. Look ahead to tonight's slate in each of those sports. And my best bet for the day. So a short podcast today. College basketball will start with a lot of um, conference tournaments on the verge of wrapping up. And one of them did wrap up last night. We'll get to it. Holstra over Delaware, 75-61 the CAA semifinal. East Tennessee State over Wofford, 72-58 in the SoCon final. So East Tennessee State gets the auto bid right there. North Dakota State over Oral Roberts, 75-69 in the Summer League semifinal. App State over Coastal Carolina, 76-65 in the Sun Belt second round. Georgia Southern over Louisiana, 82-81 in the Sun Belt second round. UIC upsets Wright State, 73-56 in the Horizon League semifinal. Kent State over Eastern Michigan, 86-76 in the MAC first round. Toledo over Western Michigan, 76-73 in the MAC first round. Ohio over Central Michigan, 85-65 in the MAC first round. Miami of Ohio over Buffalo, 85-79 in the MAC first round. Northeastern over Elan, 68-60 in the CAA semifinal. Number two, Gonzaga over San Francisco, 81-77 in the West Coast semifinal. North Dakota over Purdue, Fort Wayne, 73-56 in the Summer League semifinal. Northern Kentucky over Green Bay, 80-69 in the Horizon League semifinal. And St. Mary's over number 14, BYU, 51-50 in the WCC semifinal. Tonight's games, 4.30 ACC Network, Pitt and Wake Forest. Pitt's a one-point favorite, and I have Pitt favored by a half. I hate this when I have it by a half point and Vegas makes it one. It's crazy. I'm still going to go with Pitt minus the one. Worst case scenario, a push here. 5 o'clock, Manhattan Fairfield in the MAAC first round. Manhattan's a two-point favorite. I have Manhattan by a half. I'm going to take Fairfield plus the two. Worst case scenario, a push, but Manhattan maybe wins by one. Who knows? I think Manhattan will win. Maryland Eastern, Delaware State at 6 o'clock. Delaware State's an 11-point favorite in the MAAC first round game. And I have Delaware State. Or no, I'm sorry. It's out of Pickham. And I have Delaware State by half, so I'm going to pick Delaware State to move on. SWAC quarterfinal, 6.30, Alabama, a and and Prairie View. Prairie View is a 12.5 point favorite. I have 16.5, so I'm going to lay the 12.5 with Prairie View. 7 o'clock, ESPN Plus, Hartford, Stony Brook. AEC semifinal, Stony Brook is a 7.5 point favorite. I have a 5.5, so I'm going to take Hartford in the points. UMBC, Vermont, 7 o'clock, ESPN Plus. AEC semifinal, Vermont's a six-point favorite. I have Vermont by 13 half, so I'm going to take UMBC in the points. Seven o'clock, ACC Network, North Carolina, Virginia Tech. ACC first round, North Carolina's a four-point favorite. I have it, Virginia Tech by one, so I'm going to take Virginia Tech in the points. And maybe Virginia Tech wins outright, or Carolina wins but doesn't cover. Seven o'clock, ESPN, UIC, Northern Kentucky, Horizon League final. Northern Kentucky's a four-and-a-half-point favorite. I have it. By six. So I'm going to take you. Uh, or I'm sorry. I'm going to take Northern Kentucky in the points. Mac first round. Canisius Iona. Iona's favorite by three and a half. I have Iona by two and a half. So I'm going to take Canisius in the points. Northeast final. Seven o'clock ESPN two. St. Francis of Pennsylvania. Robert Morris. St. Francis of Pennsylvania is actually a one point favorite. I have Robert Morris by one. I'm going to take Robert Morris plus the point and a half. I think Robert Morris wins the game. 7 o'clock CBS Sports Network, Northeastern, Hofstra, CAA final. Hofstra is a two point favorite. I have Hofstra by nine. I'm going to lay it with Hofstra. Northeastern is grossly overrated in the market value. They didn't cover yesterday. Everybody is judging them because they made a tournament last year. This isn't last year, this is a whole new year. Hofstra is going to win this game and punch their ticket to the dance. 8.30, MEAC, first round, Howard, South Carolina State. South Carolina State's a six-point favorite. I'm going to lay the six because I make it ten. Grambling, Texas Southern. Texas Southern's a four-point favorite. I have three, so I'm going to take Grambling in the points, but I don't feel super about it. And that's the SWAC quarterfinal. SWAC quarterfinal, Alabama State and Southern. Southern's a nine-and-a-half-point favorite. I make it 13, so I'm going to lay the points with Southern. Nine o'clock, ESPN, St. Mary's against number two, Gonzaga. Gonzaga's a nine-point favorite. I'd make it. Six and a half. So I'm going to take St. Mary's plus the nine. St. Mary's gave them a game last time in Gonzaga's home arena. 
So you would think on a neutral, they'll um, keep it possibly closer. So I'm going to take St. Mary's plus to nine, but Gonzaga will win. Swag quarterfinal, Alcorn State, Jackson State. Jackson State's a significant play favorite. I make it two, so I'm going to lay the two. I'm sorry. I'm going to take the six and a half at Alcorn State. North Dakota, North Dakota State in the Summer League Final, 9 o'clock ESPN 2. North Dakota State's a six-point favorite. I make it ten and a half, so I'm going to lay the six with North Dakota State. And ESPN 3, MAC first round, Marist, Niagara. Marist is a one-point favorite. I make it Niagara by four and a half, so I'm going to take Niagara in the point and run. Now I'm going to do the NBA. I'm going to look back on last night's slate and look ahead to tonight's slate. We had a short slate last night, so I'm going to go over everything that happened and then look ahead to tonight. Hawks over the Hornets, 144-138 in double overtime. Nuggets over the Bucks, 109-95. Raptors over the Jazz, 101-92. Tonight's slate, 7 o'clock, you have the Knicks against the Wizards. Celtics, Pacers, Cavs, Bulls at 8. Timberwolves, Rockets, Magic, Grizzlies, 8 o'clock TNT. Mavs, Spurs, Dallas is giving only 3.5. Against San Antonio. I think that's a little strange. Especially given that they're home. They must know something about Doncic not playing. That we don't. Um, so. I make this Dallas by six. So I'm going to lay the three and a half here. With the Mavericks at home. Against their in-state rivals. 10 o'clock, Suns, Blazers, 10.30 TNT, the Clippers at the Warriors. No Stephen Curry in this one, as I have the Clippers laying. I make this 15, so I'm going to lay the 12 and a half here with the Clippers. But if Steph was playing and that was the line, I'd obviously would pick Golden State. And then the Nets at the Lakers is the other game. That's tonight at 10.30. Surprised that that one's not on national TV. I'm surprised they didn't initially pick that one because it's obviously Kyrie. They thought Kyrie versus LeBron. That's obviously not the case. Maybe they fluxed it. Who knows? NHL, going to go over last night's slate and look ahead a little bit to tonight. Sabres over the Capitals, 3-2 in a shootout. Jets over the Coyotes, 4-2. Panthers over the Blues, 2-1. Golden Knights over the Oilers, 3-2 in overtime on a goal. By Shea Theodore and Kings over the Avs, 3-1. to one. Tonight's late 7 o'clock, Lightning, Maple Leafs, Predators, Canadians, Penguins, Devils, 7 o'clock, is, or NBCSN, Bruins, Flyers. I'm going to take the Flyers at home. They're playing very well. They're one of the best home teams in the league. It's a big game. They're trying to win the Metro Division, so I'm going to pick the Flyers here at home. 7.30, Hurricanes, Red Wings, 8.30, Rangers, Stars, 10 o'clock, Islanders, Canucks, Senators, and the Ducks. So a fun slate tonight with a bunch of big games. And now my best bets of the day brought to you by FanDuel. The one for the college is so obvious. It's Hofstra. They're laying only two against Northeastern. I just don't understand how it is such a low number. So I'm going to run with it and hide with it. So Hofstra minus two against Northeastern is my first best bet that I'm giving out. And then... My other best bet's a tough one. Um, hmm. I am going to go with probably going to go with the Lakers over the Brooklyn Nets minus the ten and a half is my best bet of the night. Um. Obviously, the new coach with Brooklyn first game on the West Coast trip. The Lakers have just been playing great lately, so I'm going to lay the 10 half of the Los Angeles Lakers at home against the Brooklyn Nets for the NBA side of the best bet. And that's it for today. I know it's a short podcast. I'll be back later.
previewing a bunch of tournaments. I have eight conference tournament podcasts to do, actually nine. I have SWAC, Big Sky, A10, Pac-12, Southland, Conference USA, Big East, SEC, Big 12, and Big 10 all to do, so it should be fun. Two guests tomorrow, James Celestin and Sean Verma. Hope you guys have a great day, everybody.